The shaded region in the diagram shows the segment. Calculate the area of the shaded segment and calculate the perimeter of the shaded segment. So in part A, if we take the diagram, so what we've got here is a sector and a triangle. So if we, if we can find the area of the sector and take away the area of the triangle, then we can get the area of the shaded region. So we'll label the sides uh, OAB, AOB. So area of shaded region is going to be the area of sector AOB minus the area of triangle AOB. So this is 60, because it's part of a circle, so it's 60 out of 360 of an area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared, so it's pi times 10 squared. Now, if to find the area of this triangle, one way would be to do a half times 10 squared times sine of 60. This is what you, how you find the area of a triangle when you know two sides and the included angle it comes from a half a b sine c a times b this time it's r times r hence 10 squared and then if you just pop that all into your calculator making sure your calculator is in degrees and making sure that you are using the fraction button I cannot emphasize that enough you're going to get 50 over 3 pi now leave it like that minus 25 root 3 so this bit here gives you 50 over 3 pi this bit here will give you 25 root 3 now leave it like that and then put that into your calculator press the sd button and you're going to get 9.0586 which is 9.06 centimeters squared to three significant figures so the emphasis is use the fraction button and keep pi in your answer right until the end for part B, we had to find the perimeter. So that's going to be all this region here, the red bit that I've just gone round here. That's the perimeter. So the arc AB will be 60 over 360 times the circumference of the circle. So it's 60 over 360 of, of it. So the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r, so it's going to be 2 times pi times 10 because the radius is 10. Again, using the fraction button on your calculator, that will give you 10 over 3 pi. Leave it like that for the moment. Now, we need to find this length here. Now, this, uh, this angle here is 60, and we know that these two sides are the same. So this triangle is at least isosceles, and because this is 60, then this two must add up to 120, and then divide those by two. So both these two angles here are 60. So what we've got is an equilateral triangle, so AB is also 10 centimeters now the perimeter of the shady region will be 10 over 3 pi plus 10 and i'll put that into your calculator just using the fraction button again which gives you 20.471 when you press the s to d button and then that gives you 20.5 centimeters to three significant figures so this has been a video to show you how to find the area of a segment and the perimeter of a segment. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.